Hi guys, it's Francisca again. Now, this time around, I'm going to tell you what inspires me to write children's books. So, I'm inspired by my love for children and my desire to see them learn through fun ways. You know, I was once a teaching assistant and I used to teach little children. So, I taught in international and national schools. So, as someone who did that, who taught in international and national schools, I feel rewarded seeing children grow through books and other educational materials like puzzles. So I write because I want to be an inspiration to children through the lessons that my stories have in them. Okay, so I'm going to read you a book that I wrote and I'm going to tell you first what inspired me to write this book. So as I've said, I once taught little children, two to three year olds, and um, when I was writing this book, whose title is A Seed in Need, I sat down and thought, hmm, what book can I write that will educate a child about how a seed, what kind of things helps help a seed to grow? So that's why I wrote this book. So let me get through to reading it now. Hope you enjoy it. A Seed in Need. A puzzled baby bean seed asked Mummy Bean one day, Mama, I'm really puzzled about when I will grow. She told him ever gently, it doesn't take a day. You need a lot of patience and soon you'll see change, my child. The toddler sat and pestered, what do I need to grow? She answered him while smiling, I'll take you through, hold on. She led him to a field then and there they found an open cultivated space. And so began her lessons to her dear young bean seed. They stood right in the middle and she began her tale of how many years before now she never knew she'd grow. She'd asked the same old question that baby bean had asked. And this is what the elders did finally say at last. You need good soil to grow in, preferably loam soil, for it is dark and fertile, just perfect for a seed. It's better when it's softened for then our roots grow deep. It's also best if mixed up with fertilizer. Oh wow, Mama, how lovely! Let's find loam soil at once. I want to grow so quickly and be as tall as you. And so they searched for loam soil. They found it easily. Then deep they started digging till they were one inch deep. They settled for a whole week under the ground without a single word. Then suddenly on Monday, the beard baby bean said aloud, Mama, I'm tired of waiting. I don't see growth at all. What do I need? Please tell me, what do I need to grow? She told him ever gently, there is another tool. You need the perfect temperature. You need the perfect warmth. It should be right around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So let us snuggle closer and get the warmth we need. The two beloveds moved up and soon they felt the heat. Then fast asleep they both fell until a week had passed. Once more the baby bean woke and he exclaimed in fright, Mama, what, what is this now? I haven't grown a sprout. Oh, come on, tell me kindly, what do I need to grow? The depth and warmth have not helped, so spill the beans, I pray. She cuddled him up closer and looked him in the eye, then said, We missed a tool there. You also need, any guess as to what else a, a, a seed can need? Very good, water. It shouldn't be too much though, just half an inch should do each day. Oh, baby bean was happy. He jumped and shook the ground. This woke up sleepy puddle who took a nap above them. He asked, what is the matter? What noise disrupts my nap? Then baby bean said, sorry, I didn't mean to sir. But since you are awake now, perhaps you could water us. We need an inch each day, sir, and then for sure we'll grow. You see, I really wish to be tall, as tall as Mama here. The puddle said, oh, poor thing, I'll surely help you out. I won't forget, don't worry, so go and take your nap. And so the baby bean slept for two weeks and then awoke. He felt a little strange, for his head felt rather warm. He opened up his sleepy eyes, and Ma, you'll never guess, he saw the light around him as clearly as could be. What joy, what great rejoicing, what jubilation then! For finally this bean seed was tall as, and as strong as lead. He turned and looked at Mama 
and she was smiling back. Together they grew slowly until they grew more beans. And so what once was baby became an adult bean. So whatever you do wish for, just like the baby bean, you might not get it fast now, so wait on patiently. For yes, in due time you'll see, you'll get your wish and dreams. For good dreams come by slowly, but when they do, you grow. So the lesson in my story is, in order to be successful, you need not just one, not just two, but many things to help you to grow, just like how a plant needs several things to grow successfully. And that is the end of my story.